Hello everyone. In today's episode, we are going to continue the chat about federated learning from the previous episode. To refresh your memory, federated learning is a deep learning technique where we are building centralized machine learning models while training them on decentralized data. So this ensures that companies can build better models on high quality data while preserving users' privacy. The initial model weights are sent to the device and the model is tuned with the user's data. The updated model weights are sent back to the server. Now the model are trained within minutes and only on eligible devices which contains the needed data. And training happens when devices are plugged in to charge, hence it won't drain out your battery. One of the things that might come to your mind is whether data can be reconstructed from these updated model weights. Not to worry, federated learning systems are enabled with secure aggregation, which allows server to combine the encrypted model weights and only decrypt the aggregate. On each device, the secure aggregation protocol is applied and zero-sum mask is added to scramble the results before sending these updated model weights to the server. And when you add up the training results coming from all different devices, the mask exactly cancels out. Federated learning systems are also powered with differential privacy. We want the centralized machine learning model to capture generic patterns of the users and not memorize things which are specific to a particular device. Hence, we apply differential privacy, which is a technique to curb the model memorization in case the aggregate gets too influenced by a certain single data coming from a device. Now, once the model weights are aggregated, we need to test them. The testing too happens on your devices. So the models are integrated with some of the applications in your device and the user's interaction with them are tested. Based on the user's behavior on the application, we understand if the model training has been done well or it needs further training. Model training and testing happens in parallel. While some devices are participating in training, the others are being used to test these models. Some of the use cases where federated learning could be very useful is in financial industries, where organizations can collaborate and build, say, better anti-money laundering systems. It is very useful in training self-driving cars as well, where you can have multiple real-world drivers' data and combine them to have a better system. So as we see, federated learning is a really important system which ensures better quality models while ensuring data privacy. There's a lot of research going on in this space, and soon you'll see the systems are being productionized and being like used with the, with the actual uh, real-world use cases. So I, I really hope the um, session was insightful for you guys. And I hope you got to learn something about federated learning. There has been a lot of things and research which is going on around in this space. I would really uh, recommend you guys to read some of it. I would be posting some of the resources in the link below. If you guys also have some questions around it, feel free to post it on the comments and I'll make sure to reply back to you. Thank you so much. Stay tuned for the next episode. And for you to not miss any updates coming on the channel, please subscribe.